So with um, with organizing stuff, um, if you've got like a really busy life or lots of uh, lots of scheduling happening, then um, as you practice the the observer or, or the witnesser or you do your spiritual work, in my experience is it becomes harder and harder to track lots of information. Um, you know, like, you know, in, I don't want to be holding in like what I'm doing tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, and my whole year. So you don't want to hold on to that information. So what I found is that um, it's like you'll be intuitively drawn to things which, uh, which will allow you to function without having to hold on to tons of information. Like, uh, like, a, <laughs> like, a, like a, a yearly planner, which is very visual, and it's like there's a repulsion. There, that's right. That's quite right. That's like that's the your intuitive wisdom wanting you to let go of more, but giving you aids so that you don't have to. Because I don't want to hold on. I don't want to remember. Like in three years' time, I've got an appointment at three o'clock. If I have to have my ego doing that, that's going to be a lot of like useless stuff. So I found things like um, there's so much stuff. I mean, like someone here in the group's got a yearly planner. Uh, that's really really good. But I found like. I started finding things like, uh, for a long time before, but it's getting better and better for people doing spiritual work, you know, I'd have my calendar in my phone and I'd put a little alarm, like 10 minutes, it would remind me in the morning, or 10, like if I had a three o'clock appointment, I'd have one in the morning, or maybe if it's a really important one the night before, you've got a hospital appointment tomorrow at three o'clock, then, and then maybe one in the morning and then one like 10 minutes or an hour before the appointment, they'd buzz me. So I don't even have to look at the phone, because you forget to look at the phone. So it'll just go beep, beep, beep. You look at it, it goes, doctor's appointment, three o'clock. So you don't have to m memorize these things. And then l lately I found something, I got an iPhone. So you can speak to Siri. You know, like someone, like I suddenly get, <laughs> I suddenly get like, somebody calls me up, like someone calls me up and says, can I meet you for coffee tomorrow at three o'clock? So I'll say, hey Siri, remind me tomorrow, three o'clock, meet Jane. And it goes, and then it'll acknowledge that, and then it'll say, or, or and then I'll go, hey Siri, remind me at two o'clock that in one hour I'm meeting Jane. So at least I have one hour in case I feel totally forget about it. Is Siri like Alexa or something? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You just tell it, and then it'll just, be, it'll just tell you, like it'll beep and say, like, you know, or just, but, or if you open your phone, it'll say, like, today, remember, like, three o'clock, meet Jane. It's and it's like, I don't have to hold on to it. It's like, you know, I don't want to remember it. I want to give it to something and then for it to remind me. And so you can stay empty the whole day and you don't have to, like, have the ego, like, trying to track bits of information. So you have a wall chart, you have a text Siri or Alexa or... Cortana, I don't, I don't, Cortana on Microsoft, I haven't found to be a bit temperamental. Cortana's a bit temperamental, yeah. forgets to do things. So Siri is Apple's, okay. Cortana is uh, Microsoft, okay. and, um, and Alexa, Alexa is Amazon. Okay. So those are all the, all the little, so you talk to them and they'll like, be your personal assistant. So, or you can have your wall chart and you can just say, hey Siri, remind me, like, on the 21st of August to give, uh, give talk, you know, or whatever it is. So, so how does it remind you? It, it, I think it beeps, it shows it on the menu. I should try and do it. Shall I try and do it? Okay. You can even say, Siri, where does Sabir's group happen every Saturday <coughs> afternoon and what time? Yeah, I can track things from the internet, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll try well, let, me see, let me see. Let's see if it can if it works. Might not work now. Hey Siri. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not working, is it? Okay. It's not working. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Dear. I have to figure it out. Okay. Oh, hi Siri. Hey Siri. You better get a secretary. Hey, Siri. Siri, it's not working. <laughs> There's too much intense light going on. <laughs> Siri's a bit a bit embarrassed to come out right now. You just press the button as well. That takes you to Siri. Does it? Yeah, press it. Yeah. Press the button. Okay. Oh. This one. Yeah. yeah. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. <laughs> so, so. Yeah. Remind me tomorrow to meet Jane at five o'clock. 
Hello? Siri, yeah, it's, 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 it's it's, 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 I think Siri, Siri, Siri has responded. Siri, I'm here. She says I'm here. Oh, I'm here. Oh. Hey Siri, remind me to go to Sophie's brunch tomorrow at 11. We'll get it. Siri does work. Does it work? Yeah. Hey Siri. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to hide that. I do know Sue. She's she's my friend. Okay, I'm gonna shut this video. Oh, <laughs>